So basically, quite a natural thing to do when soloing is to simply arpeggiate the chord symbol. By that I mean, if we take this chord, we have a C minor seven. You could play one note at a time in eighth notes. So play the root, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. Then for F dominant seven, you could come back down. B flat major seven. E flat dominant seven. A half diminished. D dominant seven. And of course, you can come up with your own patterns. So, you know, I'm just running up and down in that last example. But you can come up with more interesting patterns. So if I just call this scale degree one, three, five, and seven, we could do three, five, one, seven. Three, five, one, seven. And then do it again for the F dominant seven. Three, five, one, seven. B flat major seven. Third, scale degree is D, 3, 5, F is the fifth scale degree of B flat, root, 7, 3, 5, 1, 7 of A half diminished, Three, five, one, seven. Three, five, one, seven. You can go on forever. Um, Obviously that's kind of bland and predictable, you can hear it's a pattern, even though sometimes it sounds quite good. But when you get to the point where you want to make it a bit more interesting, just kind of vary the rhythm a bit. 